Here is a sensational news regarding Vatican published by Emily Jane Davies through Daily Mail Online. A senior archbishop is going to make an unprecedented appearance in a British court to be cross-examined over a £350 million London property fraud case that saw Pope Francis authorize wiretapping. In previous British legal proceedings, the Vatican has claimed diplomatic immunity and refused to allow officials to appear as witnesses. But now Archbishop Edgar Payne Apara, a close aide to the Pope, will make an appearance in the Vatican's trial of the century. At the heart of the trial is the €350 million Euro purchase of a luxury property in London, which used to be a car showroom and garage for Harrods. Raphael Minchin, a London financier, sold the property at 60 Sloan Avenue, in Chelsea, to the Holy See in dealings that began in 2014 and ended up costing the Vatican about €140 million Euros that is £118 million. At present Minchin is free pending an appeal and claims the investigation and trial were illegal under international law and breached his human rights. During the investigation, the Pope used his powers as absolute monarch to pass decrees to authorize phone tapping, email interception, and arrest. Minchin's phones and computers were seized in Rome and he and his lawyers were followed. Archbishop Parra liaised with the Pope over the case and his WhatsApp messages were disclosed to Minchin's lawyers despite the Vatican trying and failing to stop this. Vatican lawyers argued that any UK hearing could interfere with criminal proceedings and legitimate acts of a foreign state. But Minchin won a significant victory in the Court of Appeal, which has agreed that English courts have the right to examine a property transaction and rule whether he and his company, WRM, acted in good faith. The Court of Appeal found that any English civil case would not interfere with the criminal proceedings in Vatican City. Minchin set to argue in the High Court that he was unfairly tried by the Vatican Court in contravention of international law and in breach of his human rights. One of the things which will be crucial for Minchin's argument is that towards the end of the case the criminal charges against him had been requalified, and he was convicted under canon, or religio, s. law. He was accused of breaking Canon 1284 of the Code of Canon Law, which states that all administrators are bound to fulfill their function with the diligence of a good householder. He argues this doesn't apply to him as he doesn't have a position in the Roman Catholic Church. Leading international law barrister Rodney Dixon said, Mr. Minchin is not an officeholder in the Roman Catholic Church. Unsurprisingly in that context, Mr. Minchin was not aware of Canon 1284 before the date of his conviction by the Vatican Tribunal. The financier also lodged a complaint with the United Nations claiming that his rights were abused by the Pope and the Vatican due to how the trial was handled.